It is a bittersweet day for the Ocean View community. Mr. Hubert Davenport, better known as Mr. D, is ending his 63 year career at Davenport's Barbershop today. So much history there. Our News 3 photojournalist David Agudelo captured some of the special moments from one of Mr. D's final days cutting hair in the Mermaid City. Well, I had to get here early to just to get a haircut today. Mr. Davenport, of course, he's the man. Once he cuts your hair, you want to come back. When it's short, long, medium, they get a haircut like they want it. Hanging it up. Yeah, I am. You know? Yes, sir. My old mind says, keep on, but my old body says it's time. Yeah, I've been cutting hair over six, for 63 years. I went to barber school in September 58 and finished up March 1st of 59. I went to work on Grammar Street by Riverview Theater. That barber shop's still open. I've been in this shop for since 88. They asked me and I always say 10 a day, at least 10 a day. I don't do no math, man. I don't have that many fingers and toes. <laughs> I don't think they do a lot of shaving anymore. I'm from the old school. My, customer, my customers are used to it. And it makes you feel cleaner when you do it. Yes. He treats everybody the same, whether he knows you or he don't. I've had astronauts sit in here. I've had a world champion boxer sit in here. Every profession in life, except the president. And if you look at that picture up there, he didn't have time to stay. <laughs> Every person sitting in this chair is the most important person in my life right then, because they could have gone anywhere else, but they chose to come here. Take care. Yes, sir. OB is OB. Thank you, buddy. We're one big family. Aww. My first haircut was here, so I've been coming here my whole life. Thank you, buddy. Yep. Good to see love you. Love you, old bud. Yep, love you. Yeah, I love Mr. D. Feel good after you get a haircut here. Always good to talk to Mr. D. He knows everything about you. He knows everything about everybody. He just makes you feel at home. All these people are part of my life. They are. In fact, this is family. This is my nephew. He's a father to a lot, a grandfather to a lot. He's a role model for a lot. He's just been a part of everybody's life for, for years and years and years. I'm going to miss all these. All these friends in here, you know? Conversation. Miss all these kids growing up, you know, that I started them out on their first haircut. I'm going to miss all that. Of course, I saw their daddies grow up. Some of them, their granddaddies grew up. But I'm going to miss all that. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Love you too, bud. I love them all. <laughs> we love you more. Yep, love them all, buddy. You old guys are important. <laughs> well, you know that. I don't know. Yeah, you are. I think it's the other way around. Dig gonna miss you, brother. Ocean View's been my home. Ocean View will miss you. So many stories, I'm sure, from that one barber chair. I know. I just can't believe I that last hug with the orange t-shirt mm. guy just lasted so long. Like, yeah. he just wanted to kind of get all, like, the love he could squeeze out of Mr. D the last day. There's that yeah. special bond, and I think that showed it right there. Mr. D uh, told News 3 that he, he has no idea how many haircuts he's given in the past 63 years, but in one family, he's had six generations. I know. That one guy said he's been going his whole life. Yeah. That was amazing. So Davenport says he's not completely retiring and that he will continue to volunteer at retirement homes giving haircuts for free. Listen, if he does a head shave, I'm just saying. I know. Congrats, Mr. D, on your retirement. We love sharing these positive stories happening here in Hampton Road. Send us the good news. What's going on where you live? The email address is goodnews at WTKR.com. It's